Way off, way off, way off. What's up? What's up with y'all today, man? Welcome back. Welcome back. We got another video today, man. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video here. So we got a, we got another jo uh court case video. So if this y'all first time tuning in. If like y'all enjoy these type, like y'all enjoy these type of video, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man, and comment down below as y'all can see nigga guess what i'm working guess what i'll be working when i ain't even even working so i'm getting uh unloaded so let's go on and make a video we unload it, so yo see what they talking about plaintiff faith edmund met the defendant in elementary school and she and her boyfriend recently moved in with the defendant faith claims after moving in she saw the defendant's true colors and she's suing her today for an illegal eviction and unreturned property. Defendant Gabrielle Harward says she didn't know much about Faith when she moved in with Gabrielle. And Gabrielle claims, had she known Faith was a stripper and her boyfriend had been to jail for stabbing a woman eight times, she never would have let... God damn, man, that's a bad conversation. Hey, take this advice. Man, listen, don't move, fuck it, fuck that, period. Don't, you can't even let family move in. Just, just say no. Sometimes just say no. They can get mad at it, whether it's, that's cause a lot of headache. It can cause a lot of headache. So, you finna see what they go talk about. And move in. She's countersuing for unpaid rent and damages. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge, Greg Mathis, presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. I've known Gabrielle since elementary school. My boyfriend and I, we moved in on June 7th, and that's when I saw the true colors of the spoiled princess. Her property? City? You moved into her property, yes. obviously? Yes, sure. And you said that's when you saw what? Her true the colors? true colors. Everything in her life has been handed to her on a silver platter. I have worked hard my whole life. I bought my own home at 21 years old. How is that being, having something handed to me? Anyways, uh, I worked hard my whole life. Whoa, 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 whoa. As I see, she is jealous of this girl already, as I can see. Already, and we ain't got into the video. So she would know she won't talk about, oh, I used to do all this work, uh, everything. It's on my alab. Come on, let's keep it going. I've worked hard my whole pregnancy up until the due date. Uh, she, every time we would go into the kitchen, anywhere, what she are you guys? She didn't work hard? No, she just All right. sits around. You never had a job? I worked for two years straight to save up so that I could have so a baby. you didn't know about that job? No. How do you think I paid for a house at 21 years old? She made okay. a status and about, and we both were pregnant with baby girls. No, no, we're talking about her working. Yes. You, you said she never worked. She said she did. Because she acts like the world revolves around her. No, we're talking about whether she worked. She said she worked hard to get her house. Okay. You said she's had everything handed to her. Yes. And that's why I ask you, Yes. do you know whether she worked or not? You said she didn't. She said she, she worked two me, years. She told me she breeds her dogs, her pets. So you do know that she worked then? Not as hard as I've worked. <laughs> Did you go to school? Let's start there. Yes. <laughs> Did you finish college? No. I'm in uh, college no. and I was working and I already have a kid and now I have two. And you were working with no kids? Let me hear from you. Congratulations on all your hard work. Tell me what happened we, here. You all were friends since elementary school. Well, we were never friends. We just went to the same school. Okay. Um, and we didn't talk until I had made a post looking for roommates. And I didn't know anything about her. We hadn't talked in years. Um, and I unknowingly made a mistake by allowing her and her boyfriend into our home. I didn't know that she was, had been a stripper. I didn't well, know that did her boyfriend- Well, you did work hard. Stripping, <laughs> strippers work hard. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, you're right, you did work calling. hard enough. You ain't had to swing around no pole. <laughs> you ain't had to pick no money off the floor. 
You didn't get your money one dollar at a time. <laughs> I'm with you. You did work harder than her. All right, now I understand. <laughs> Go ahead. Now, that's hard work. <laughs> Had I known the background that both of them had, I never would have offered for them to rent. I didn't know that her boyfriend had stabbed a girl eight times and served you say 10 he years in jail. stabbed somebody how many times? Eight times with a butcher's knife. I Did obviously serve, would have never allowed that. I have a three-year-old son at home. I had a daughter on the way. Um, I didn't I have know. a daughter. He doesn't hurt her. He doesn't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I mean, he stabbed a... He stabbed an ex-girlfriend that broke up with him, and yet she went back to him. So, so he did stab someone close to him, his ex-girlfriend. They dated for four months. She broke up with him, and he decided to go home, grab a butcher's knife, come back. And you don't know the her. story. Stop acting like you know him. I hope that's not true, ma'am, because that's no laughing matter. She's that's making right. that stuff up, or you're saying she doesn't know that the story. That was actually the story she told Hopefully it was self-defense. She, she doesn't know. All right, let's get to why you're suing. Okay. Mm -hmm. On July 23rd, we got in a domestic dispute and we left the house to keep the peace because we didn't want to bring it into their home. That night, you I all got weren't physically fighting, were you? No, he. Okay. Yes, anyways, I, I ended up in the hospital. Did they did fight physically fight, hands. though. They left a hole in my wall. This is they the ripped story. each other's clothes up. He ripped up her Excuse stuffed me, animals. Excuse me, I'm they talking right stuff. now. No, I'm no, you're lying yelling. right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> my mother-in-law heard him smack her from two bedrooms away. And y'all did nothing about it. No one came in the room to try to help me. Anyways, you that said, happened the night that things went bad. We left the house because we didn't want to bring it into their home. We left. Anyways, that night while I was in the hospital, he put three staples in my head. Why did you say it wasn't physical then? Go ahead. Anyways. He went back that night and he grabbed all our possessions. I never knew this. He took everything except for my baby stuff. About three days later, I went to the house and I wasn't allowed in. She illegally evicted me. I've never been allowed back inside the house. Here, you North know, I Carolina. Have the locks or something? Yes. I have messages North of her saying it's not even. On, North man. Carolina states right here that it's illegal to change the locks and you have to give a 30 day written notice before you evict somebody. Thank you. Um, she, I have, I have That's the breakdown. the law in overwhelming number of states. You can't just come up and change the locks without notice or a court order. But go ahead. I have the breakdown of all the items that I left. Let's see. And you I have her in a baby message. Stuff. And I have her in a message trying to sell me back my own personal property. I known the background that both of them had. I never would have offered for them to rent. I didn't know that her boyfriend had stabbed a girl eight times and served you say 10 he years stabbed in jail. Somebody, how many times? Eight times with a butcher's knife. Plaintiff Faith Edmund is suing her former roommate, who claims had she known Faith was a stripper and her boyfriend had been to jail for stabbing a woman eight times, she never would have allowed them to move into her home. Let me hear your side, ma'am. Well. Before she moved in, we were having a problem with our other roommate before them. She also didn't pay us rent, and she had to leave her stuff until she paid us the That's rent that illegal. she owed us. Let her finish. Ma'am, I know, counselor, you quoting the law, and <laughs> you brought your law today. Go and ahead. To avoid that same situation, when they moved in, we already had that agreement. They knew all of Channing's stuff was in there. She couldn't have her stuff until she paid us rent, and that was the agreement we came to with them. I have voicemails of them both admitting that they already knew that. I also have a witness statement from Channing saying exactly how it worked with her. Let me hear your voicemail. Hey girl, sorry if you're in class. I didn't mean to bother you. I didn't know trouble. But I don't know if you know, and I'm trying to tell you that Channing is here, getting all his stuff. Yeah, she owes you money. I'll try to stall and keep it here as long as you can. I'll try to call you again. Hey Gabby, hey Alex, it's Will. Listen, you know, it's been a really rough day. I come home and I find out that no one is letting Faith get her belongings. You guys have proof of me putting stuff in the car? That's fine, that's okay. In the bedroom right now, in that one dresser, there's clothes, and you know that. And then in the baby room, if Alex is gonna lie about it, I never even went in there because I was just trying to get me and her belongings. I got me and her belongings because I knew after a situation like that, you guys were gonna pull the whole Channing thing. 
And the Channing thing he's referring to is that agreement that yeah, we already had. Yeah, but it's illegal. Had. You can't hold someone's property. I didn't hold it. Property. We agreed and upon you it. Can't Did you make that agreement? Right. No, there's no written rental agreement. There's nothing. What is Verbal the Channing agreement? agreement I don't know. To. Her room. She, her roommate's dumb. She's when Channing paid us back, she got all of her belongings. But it was per the agreement. And they agreed you can hold my stuff back if I don't pay the rent. Yes. <laughs> so they didn't expect to pay you either. And you didn't expect, I well, feel you like were it just was, suspicious. I feel it was all a setup from the beginning, because okay. when we asked them for July's uh -huh. rent at the and beginning And this agreement was a setup in addition to being illegal. How Except is it illegal people, if they it agree? It is to illegal it. by law. That's how it's illegal. Have a good day. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. You cannot take anybody's property because they have not paid you. Certainly, you can't change the locks on anyone's home because they haven't paid you. It's called going to court, getting a court order, getting a judgment first, serving them with a 30-day notice under the law. That's not just North Carolina law. 30 days notice, after the 30 days expire, you still have to go and get the judge to sign off on it. Judgment for the plaintiff, your claim is dismissed. Have a good day. She's a cold, heartless trying to hold a baby's stuff hostage. I worked for my home and I have a baby too, and she owes us rent. I don't know why that's any less heartless than her trying to you get You can't hold her someone's baby. personal belongings in place of rent. That's illegal. Not if you agree to it. Where's the written agreement? We never signed anything. Well, 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 man, this is the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. And this here, there was a crazy... It, it can go either way, but let me know what y'all think of this. I'm out of here.